So this is going to be a dedicated work area. I've exchanged the miter saw with a bigger one because the previous one I had from Bosch was very tiny. The other one I had from Batavia was battery powered and it was very weak. It was just not a good saw. And I like to use the miter saw and this one has a, a good big slide. It's a 12 inch blade so it's quite a big saw. And I'm gonna make this flush with the, the workbench. So it's gonna start with the saw bench which is going to be on the same height as the workbench and then it's going to continue the miter saw is going to be on a separate table next to the workbench and then there's going to be another support so whenever I throw on a big uh, a rafter or a big plank it's just easy to cut it quickly and it's 90 degrees I don't have to think about it it's going to be working more secure and faster
I'm going to make another bread uh, with different flour. This is grano tenero tipo due, too. So, yeah, let's see how that turns out. I'm going to do it in one day. Usually do it, uh, I do it overnight. So I make the bread in the afternoon and then I shape it in the evening. And then before I go to bed, I put it in the fridge and it arises overnight. And then I make a fire in the morning. But I don't like my make the fire in the morning because it's too um, hot in the sun. So I'm going to try to do it to bake the bread during my meal on the fire in the, in the evening.
So it's um, about 7 o'clock now, um, just before 8 the sun goes down the mountain, after that I make the fire and then it's going to take another hour or one and a half hour uh, when the coals are ready to burn. So but it's quite warm here in this corner when the sun is setting, so it's getting like 30 degrees I think in the sun, maybe even warmer, so I have to keep an eye on it. If it rises too fast I'm going to put it in the fridge.
Workshop is finished, more or less. Uh, I need to add some lamps so I can also work in the dark. But um, yeah, let me explain why I build it up like this. So I got the, the saw bench here, so I can run large boards through, and they will end up on the workbench because it's all flush, and it's also secured, so it can't go anywhere. Then the workbench itself it has two vices. So this is a front vise, and the advantage of that is that it's never in the way, right? I have also this big steel vise, but it's always in the way of when you're working. And this is nice because it's flush with the bench, so when I have to shave anything or like work on a saw or a small piece of wood, I can secure it in here. Um, sometimes you see a lot of holes in these workbenches, and it's because of these little things, which are bench dogs 
and why these are in there is to use them as something to put your wood against. So these ones are aligned with the miter saw. So if I have a large board, I can put the board against it and it's flush with this wall. So you have always a 90 degree cut. That's also the reason why the miter saw is lower than the workbench. So this is flush with the workbench. So there's two vices. This one is here for if you want to work on a board and you want to secure it. You'll put a bo small board in here and then the board against it and then you'll use the bench docks. I have to create some more holes to put the wood against it and then clamp it in between here so it's stuck to the workbench. I'll probably use this one less, you know, because this is the main vice. I'll use this most of the time. The roof is just temporary, um, it's not very beautiful, but um, the overhang of this roof is a bit too short. There was always water falling on the bench, um, you know, so when I rebuild this roof in a year or so, I will make the overhang a bit larger so I can have a work area here or an outdoor kitchen. I don't know what's going to be later. Um, but yeah, for now I put these, these plastic roofs there just to be able to work here when it rains and to keep all the tools dry when it's when it's wet you know and then here I can store my tools you know most of my tools are stored inside also it's also better because it's getting wet outside but for temporary storage I have these boards so I can always keep the workbench free so um, yeah I'm really happy with this it's much better than the wonky table I had
Wow, this was the heaviest load I have ever done. It was not as heavy on the tow board bar though, because when you got long wood like four and a half meters, which I had with the, the large tongue and groove boards a few months ago, that's why it bent. But this was heavier, but it's more on the in the middle of the of the trailer. So did it again. So I'm going to make two piles here, a concrete aggregate pile, so a coarse sand, and a sand pile. It's about uh, 100 meters away from the, the houses, because I don't have space there to, to come with a heavy trailer. Here it's somewhat flat, so I can here make piles of sand here. I'll do that later, because it's, it's raining, finally. It's very nice. I had to run out a little bit earlier to cover the roof because it will wash out the walls which is a problem if there's a lot of rain coming into the walls so I had to run out just a bit earlier it's been more than a month since we had this kind of rain and this is perfect for the soil you know we just had a few thunderstorms and just a few minutes of hard rain and it does it's not affected you know because it washes away instantly um, but this is nice I hope it's going to continue for a bit
Johannes is working on a, uh, a book project. So that's why he wants to stay privately. That's also why his garden is... Um, he's not working in his garden very much. And I'm coming here not very often, so it's such a such a big work to keep a garden like this clean it's impossible I come here once a no not even once a week less than that because the watering is going automatically so a lot of work
some serious rain. Scaffolding is steaming. It was hard work to get the rain out of the, out of the tarp. It went hard. Good test. This is all dry, good. Car was open, that's wet. Tent was open, that's wet. It's just water. It's fine. Nice. I think this was about 10 millimeters of rain. I'm gonna check it in the tent. get wet here so I have this open what's this say 7.4 30 33 degrees still here 20 degrees outside 7.4 millimeter of rain that's nice slightly stressful. It's the first time I work with concrete at all. I've never made a mix. But uh, so the first ones were a little bit too thick I think. We'll see how it turns out. Now the water is rising slightly so I can 
I'm able to smooth it out. But I hope it's uh, I hope it's level. I mean, I have it. I mean, the base was level. Who knows what happens? Yeah, a lot of rotting around, picking up sand and um, stones over there and higher up the hill because that's where my pile is, I did it with the car for the last batch. I didn't buy enough Portland cement of course, so I did a part with uh, lime. So this is sort of a limecrete mix with cement, I think it's okay. <sighs> but man. The machine running all the time, not sure if the power is going to hold it up, but it was okay because it draws a lot of power. Yeah, a little bit stressful. I think next time I don't do the paper. Because if I make the mix thick enough, it won't drip underneath. And it will hold better in the walls. But again, let's see how it turns out. It doesn't look too bad. Thank <laughs> you. 